Hi guys, welcome to. I'm going to go over character literals and arithmetic operators. Okay, so what we have going on here is um, basically a small program to help you understand and, and uh, teach you characters and um, basically a character assignment. Or also, the other way, a good way to think about it is just letter assignment because you can only do one of them. And um, like either A, B, or C. You know, you can only do one letter at a time, and you can only assign it to a variable. So in this case, we have um, this small program to show you how to do that. Um, here we have our library, our namespace SCD. This is our main function going on here. Here we have the character letter. This is a, I mean, the, this is a variable letter being defined as a character. Excuse me. The data type. Remember, this is the data type. This is the variable. Um, in this case. The variable is letter. Letter we're, we're defining as A. A has to be in single quotation marks to distinguish that it's a character. Um, then we're going to see it out, which is we're going to send it out to the, the computer. We're going to see it out as A. So in this case, at this point, letter is defined as A. And this point, letter is defined then as B. Notice it's the same character. When you want to think of, uh, or same, same variable, it's the same variable, letter and letter, all right? Um, so in this case, just think of it, you know, like when you open a variable, it's kind of like a box. Then you want to put something in the box, it's like an A, all right? So in this case, we have like A in the box at this point, you know what I'm saying? And then here we have B. So in this case, when we, when we define it as another letter, it pushes A out, and then it puts B in. You see, so A just gets lost. It becomes into a random data value that the computer doesn't care about, discards it, and it inputs B to the same box that it allocated. So in this case, the letter is now defined as B. So here we're going to also see out B. And then we're going to end our program because our program is going to terminate. So at this point, we know that um, as the computer runs through this, it's going to say, oh, A is defined as this variable. We're going to see out this variable. Variable is A. So it's going to say, okay, A goes out. And then we're going to say, and then it's going to continue on. It's going to say letter is now defined as B. Okay, uh, here we want to uh, we want to send out B, so it's going to be B down here. And notice it's on two different lines, two different spaces. It's because of these endills right here that tell it that the end of the line start a new line. That's what the computer takes it as. Okay, so that's basically uh, character literals. Now we're going to go over arithmetic. Operations. Uh, this is just a, a quick program. It's, it's pretty complicated, but if you can follow it, you're well on your way to understanding uh, arithmetic operations. So here we have the data type is double, and I'm just defining all these variables. So all the stuff, okay, from here to here, are variables. All right. So in this case, I'm defining regular variable wages, or re regular wages, I'm sorry, it's a variable. Regular wages is a variable, and this it's going to be all one word. These are all one words. I'm defining it as the data type is double. This holds my regular wages. Here, I have a base pay rate. I'm defining it, the variable, I'm setting it equal to, setting the variable equal to $18.25. That's my base pay rate. Um, here, my regular hours is a variable again, setting it as a, as a double variable. Um, I'm setting it equal to $40. Of course, that's without overtime. Uh, and this is my overtime wages. I'm just defining it as a variable. I want it as an empty variable, allocating data so I can put some in it. Um, this is a proper way to think about it. Here, I'm, I'm defining oper overtime pay rate. I'm setting it equal to $27.78. Here, my variable overtime hours is equal to $10. Here, I'm, I'm defining total wages as a variable. The data type is double, again. And uh, now let's just look at here. Okay, so regular wages, what is regular wages? Well, to me, I'm defining regular wages as base rate times regular hours, right? You just want to figure out the, the, the how much you make a, a, a week. Well, you need to know how many hours you work a week, which in this case, it's not money, I'm sorry. It's actually just 40 hours. So 40 hours times whatever amount this is, which is a base pay rate. So we look up here, well, we set base rate equal to 18.25. Here it's 18.25. So 18.25 times 40 hours gives us whatever number. We don't care, but the number that, that is, notice that we're using multiplication just like you would in, in a math problem or anything like that. 
And um, this is actually, that's an asterisk, that's not a, a dot or anything like that. But uh, So here we're multiplying these two amounts together and we're setting regular wages equal to these two amounts are being multiplied together. So whatever amount that is, regular wages is now set to it. Okay, so that's good. Check that, check mark that off. Okay, so here we look at overtime wages. Well, we know that overtime wages, well, we know we have the times overtime pay rate times how many hours we had of overtime, right? So here we said, okay, overtime pay rate is $27.78. And overtime hours is 10, is, we had 10 overtime hours. So here, again, it's just simple math. Um, overtime pay rate times overtime hours. We're just setting overtime wages equal to that amount. And then here we just want to know the total wages. So we don't want to know the regular wages we, we were earning plus the overtime that we put in. So it's regular wages plus, notice the operator, the arithmetic operator right there, plus overtime wages. So whatever this amount is, total wages is now set to. So we don't even need to know the numbers, pretty much, just to do the math, because now it's all logic. So here we're, we're going to see out to the computer, wages total, and we're just going to put total wages, which is this name, and um, that was a fire truck outside, I'm sorry. So we're going to we're gonna set, we're going to send out to the computer total wages, which is this right here, which we defined as all this math up here. So you notice how all this math is simplified, now it's just simple logic, you don't need to know the numbers, you don't need to do any of the calculations, the computer will do it all for you because it knows all the arithmetic rules and stuff. And remember you're using the proper syntax here. Notice up here, one really quick last point is uh, that all my variables, even when I set them to something, they're followed by a comma. Okay, um, that just that's just to distinguish the fact that we're setting a new variable, um, we're defining a new variable. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, any questions, any comments, leave in the comment section below, and you guys have a great day.